With that, I would like to yield as much time as the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Nails, may consume. The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We are in uncharted waters. Uncharted waters, folks. The swamp water is very murky. It's deep. You try to navigate those treacherous waters. Every once in a while, you try to find that safe lily pad to land on. You try to find a lily pad to land on. But for George Santos, there doesn't appear to be a safe lily pad. The United States House of Representatives is attempting to expel a member of Congress who has not been convicted of a crime. In the history of our country, folks, only five members have been expelled from Congress. 1861, John Clark, John Reed, Henry Burnett were expelled on the grounds for treason for supporting the Confederate Rebellion. In 1980, Michael Myers was convicted of bribery involving an FBI sting that led to the convictions of seven members of Congress. Six of them resigned, and Myers was expelled on a vote of 376 to 30. Then in 2002, James Trefficant was convicted on 10 counts, including bribery, conspiracy to defraud the United States, corruption, obstruction of justice. All five, all five of these men had one thing in common, and they were all convicted under federal law and then rightfully expelled from Congress. Kicking out Mr. Santos is setting a very dangerous precedent. Never before has Congress expelled a member based on indictments. Indictments require nothing more than probable cause. An indictment is not a conviction. So why today would we remove a member from this House based on an indictment? It's never been done before. It shouldn't happen today. In this country, I thought everyone is presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I do not and have not and will not support the removal of Representative Santos, and I encourage my colleagues to agree. With that, I yield back.